So, you have the successful guy. He's thought of his business plan. He's executed it. Next thing you know, he's on Good Morning America. There's your friend who's been on the phone with you telling you about her idea since 2014. It's 2019, you're ready to be 2020. And her idea still has not come to fruition. What's the difference between Mr. Successful and Miss Still Waiting? Let's go. Buying something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, and social worker. I create content to inspire others. What I hope is my trials and tribulations that I have gone through will help you. So today's video is about why are some people successful and others are not? I will leave you with some tips on what the successful people do versus what the non-successful people are not doing. Please hit subscribe if you want to hear more videos, and please hit like. So, one thing about a successful person, he or she is not going to let an obstacle slow them down. So that's tip number one. They stay focused on their goal. If an obstacle comes, such as their car breaks down, they become ill, a loved one becomes ill, they lose their job, no matter what comes their way, even if they have to commute an hour or two to get to where they need to be to make their dream come true, they're going to make it happen. A successful person would take his or her last dollar to turn that thing into a dream come true. Versus an unsuccessful person, if they have a flat tire, if they get a no, if they get sick, if something throws them off, they take their dream and put it on the shelf and say, I knew it. The time isn't right. I'll go back to it later. Now, one thing I know from my life, if I don't do something when I say I'm going to do it, or if I don't write it down or stay focused on it, a lot of times it won't get done. That's why I try to tell people you get your best results when it hits you. And some people say, oh, I had a feeling. Some is the whole, they say the Holy Spirit. I don't know what you want to call it. I say Holy Spirit for me too, and intuition and my gut. And when I get that urge, it's like a surge. I just hit it. I just hit it. Oh, I want to apply for this job. It sounds like a good fit. Bam. If, I, if it feels good, I'm going for it. When I saw this, um, I guess you want to say infomercial, commercial, advertisement on TV about a stage um, presentation for cancer survivors. I was like, that's something I want to do. And I ended up being chosen. So these are the things you have to do to get your dream going. You have to go with that feeling, that urge. Don't hesitate because when you procrastinate and hesitate, Generally, it may not happen because that's your fear saying, nah, that won't work. Uh, I'm not going to get picked. You're giving yourself a chance to talk yourself out of whatever it is you're going to do. And that's what a successful person won't do. They will not, they will not let anything stop them. Number two, a successful person knows where there is a will, there is a way. There is more than one way to skin a cat. And those are my two sayings. When I get disturbed or discouraged, and I'll just say, you know what? There's more than one way to skin a cat. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. And I'll say it like over and over. And those are my go-to sayings. I've been saying that for years. Because let's say for an example, you are wanting to open your own business, but you don't quite have the money to open you know, a space or use a space. You could collaborate with somebody else. It doesn't have to be 
the way you had it in your mind or the way your business plan has it or the way you have it on paper. Be flexible and loose with it and open because how they say the universe or people are going to come to you and it's going to all come together. But it may not be the way that you have it envisioned. And unsuccessful person, he or she is going to say, I knew it wasn't going to work. I don't have the money for this space. I'll just try to do it later. This is too much money for me. So pretty much an unsuccessful person, they're just going to let it fall by the wayside. So it's basically all the same things. And um, last but not least, a successful person knows there's no such thing as a no. They're not going to stop until they get a yes. Now, how many yeses do you need? You just need that one. It's almost like looking for a job. And I always use this. And I used to hear people say, I can't find a job. I can't find a job. I can. You know why? Because I'm going to get on my computer. It's Monday, like today. I'm going to make a list, 1 through 10. And we're going to apply for 10 jobs. And then when Tuesday come, I'm going to apply for 5 or 10. And I keep doing it until I start getting interviews. And then I start getting interviews, phone interviews. And once I get past those phone interviews, I'm seeing people face to face. By that point, I've got two offers coming at me. You never take a no. You never stop. And if that resume is not getting hits, you reconfigure your resume. And you keep on doing it. Or you have someone look at it. You don't stop. You need that job. And that's what a successful person knows. Or oh, I'm getting a yes. And a successful person, he or she, they're going to get out there and rub elbows. They're going to talk to people. Hey, I'm looking to start my business. Hey, I, I know you opened your own restaurant last year. Can I have a cup of coffee with you and, and pick your brain? Successful people are go-getters, and they get their yes. An unsuccessful person gives up so quick, and they're defeated. They stop. Sometimes what we don't know is we're right on the edge of a breakthrough, and that's right when you gave up. Somebody was getting ready to help you, but you gave up. You gave up. Don't give up. You cannot give up. Success is not for the weak at heart. It's not for the faint. The race is not given to the swift, but to the one who endures. So you got to be in it for the long haul. And the one lesson I'm learning as I'm hitting 50, and I'm not turning 50 this year, next year, but as I'm going up the ladder, that it may not go the way you envision. That is my biggest lesson I'm learning. It may not go the way you envision. And it may go better or it may go different. Be flexible. Be open. Be free. Like water, Bruce Lee states, flow like water. It's going to work out. But don't give up. Have tenacity. Have grit. Act as if your life depends on it because it does. And that's the difference with successful people and unsuccessful people. So next time you see someone and you're like, man, how did they make it? I wonder what did they do? Everything. They never gave up. She never gave up. She ate, slept, and just drank her dream. He did not give up. He kicked the stew out of that dream. He never gave up. So that's the difference. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dream. Somebody out there in this world is looking for what you're inventing, selling, cooking, creating. You would not believe how much you would help someone with your life, with your vision, with your creativity, with your flow, with your music, with your clothes, with your food, with your holistic approach. Tammy C. Walker, subscribe and like. Drop me a comment, please, on something you've been successful with, something you're proud of. And maybe a time you almost gave up, but you said, uh-uh-uh, and you kept going. Thank you for watching.